Hello everyone, this is a video walkthrough of the Facebook app we developed in my last blog tutorial. If you don't know what I am talking about, let me tell you that if you have a ASP.NET website or a web application and you want to integrate Facebook through server side, then you can use the Facebook C Sharp SDK. You can find links to the tutorials below the like button. They have been written from a beginner's point of view and you will face no problems while following them. Now let me start the walkthrough of the app. The idea behind the app is pretty simple. A user visits our application and connects with it through this button and then we fetch his Facebook friends and the athletes he likes and when the user clicks on this blue button we randomly choose a sports person from the this list and display his picture and then the user has some options for sharing this activity on Facebook through these buttons. Now I'm currently logged into Facebook but I'm not connected with this app so it's like a new, new user coming to your app for the first time so let me connect with this app through this button now as you can see that facebook is telling us that the application wants to access your public profile friend list and email address and likes it's also asking for the permission to post on behalf of the user as we are using the publish stream permission now I click on OK. As you can see, the Facebook returned a code, and we exchange this code with an access token, and use that access token to fetch the required information. A status label here shows the valid time period of the access token. A token generated through server side is generally valid for 60 days. I think it's seconds and not milliseconds. Sorry for this. I will have to correct this in the app. Now let me see which sports person I am by clicking this blue button. Rahul Dravid, I, am, I have no problem. <laughs> now let me show you the sharing options that are available. Let me start with the simple text update. Here is our text updated to our app and it says via our app name. Now let me show you the sharing photo option. Here is the post ID of our previous status and now it's actually uploading the image as it's take time. And the photo is uploaded successfully and here is the photo ID. Here is the image and actually it creates a new album with our app name and you can see the album in the photos. Now let me show you the tag and share option. Let me tag someone who will not think it's a spam. Again it's taking time and someone actually liked our photo or status. It's raining notification, but uh, let me show you the newly up updated photo. So here, are, here is the new pic with someone tagged. You can see my friend's name here and again the via app name here. Now let me show you the sharing page option. You can actually share anything, the current page or any page on the web. But for now, I'm being sharing my Facebook page, the the PC Wizard page. Let me show you that. Again, reload the tab. Now, this information has been automatically taken from by Facebook, but you can make it custom or take it from a user, and you can actually customize it through your app. So this being it, you can find the link for the tutorial of this app below the like button and thank you very much for watching.